Do you enjoy high-flying acrobatics? Do you also enjoy dancing around your foes while pelting them with a hail of bullets and looking absolutely marvelous while doing it? Then Gunner might be right up your alley. My name's Zio, and today we'll be discussing Gunner's skills and photon arts as well as core gameplay mechanics. So grab your twin machine guns and your rifles, and let's become Greased Lightning. To start things off, we'll take a look at Gunner's skill set. Chain Trigger is Gunner's main class only specialty skill. You activate this by using a charged PA. You'll have 30 seconds to build up your chain combo. Fire off another charged PA for a powerful chain finish. The higher the number, the bigger the damage. Chain Boost changes the behavior of the weapon action and grants you an attack speed boost depending on the size of your chain. Pop a chain above 80 and you'll get a 10% attack speed boost. When you pop another chain above 80 in that time, that bonus goes to 20%. Chain Trigger Quick Reload reduces the cooldown of Chain Trigger depending on how high your last chain was. Sounds awesome, right? Well, a couple caveats here though. Chain Trigger only works with twin machine guns. This means you can't start, build, or end a chain with any other weapon, even if it's a multi-weapon. Same goes for the buff from Chain Boost. Attack PP Recovery boosts PP regeneration from normal attacks. Overwhelm has the same effect, but against non-bosses. These two skills make Gunner a popular subclass choice for PP management. Stylish Onslaught does a hard-hitting forward attack when you hit the weapon action with no directional input. It does use PP like a photon art, but it doesn't halt your natural regeneration. It also has longer invincibility frames than a standard Stylish Roll. Stylish Roll Arts does a strong attack if you hit a PA button during a roll. During Chain Boost, this will have a shorter range. Stylish Roll Strike Back will buff your next PA after a successful dodge in exchange for more PP. Slow Landing Attack and Slow Landing Charge do what you would expect. They decrease your falling speed while you're attacking or charging PAs. Force and Tekker have a similar skill. Spread Shot is a rifle skill where you fill up a meter like a photon blast, and once it's full, you hit the button to unleash a powerful shotgun blast. Now before we get to photon arts, I'd like to point something out here. Ranged weapons in PSO2 New Genesis have a mechanic called critical distance. This is indicated by a white circle around your target. That means you're too far away. When that turns orange, you're in the sweet spot. So with twin machine guns, that's pretty close. So now we come to everyone's favorite part, the photon arts. Starting with twin machine guns. Bullet Rave fires off two long range streams of bullets followed by a third hit. You can cancel out of the third hit. This is the fastest way to build up your chain trigger. Aimless Rain fires off a spray of bullets in an area around you. This is nice for handling groups of enemies. Point Blank will dash towards your target and fire off two powerful shots. This is how you want to start and end your chain triggers if you can help it. Homing Shot is likely the only rifle PA you'll ever use as a gunner, but it's worth mentioning considering how it can lock onto multiple targets. Like always, you have a number of options for subclasses. Two that stand out are Hunter and Fighter. Hunter Sub grants you superior damage mitigation and knockback protection through Hunter's Physique and Flash Guard. Fighter Sub has Defeat Advantage and Defeat PP Recovery going for it. This increases your damage and PP recovery against downed enemies. Honorable Mention goes to Force for its insane PP recovery. Since people asked me about skill trees in the Force video, I figured I'd share this here. So here's what a gunner main tree looks like. You take Chain Trigger and all the twin machine gun skills, 10 points into attack PP recovery, and then the last two into Overwhelm. Now here's one if you just want to use it as a subclass. I guess I should share some pros and cons here. I'll get the bad parts out of the way first. This does require you to pay more attention than other classes. You gotta keep your chains hot and attack within melee distance for maximum DPS. On top of that, building up Chain Trigger can be frustrating, especially against fast-moving bosses. So, it may not be the best pick for someone who's just starting out. 
On the upside though, Gunner is one of the best damage dealers in the game right now. It's certainly up there when it comes to sustained DPS as well as burst damage. Oh, and the fact that it looks absolutely marvelous while doing all that doesn't hurt either. So that's Gunner for you. Did you find this at all helpful? If so, you know what to do. You know, the usual youtube -y stuff that helps get this out in front of more people. And of course, share with your friends. After all, sharing is caring, right? As always, thank you so much for watching and for the continued support. And remember, to the known self be true. Until next time, farewell.